क्लास टेन मैक्स सेट्स प्रीवियस इयर्स मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन टू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन हियर इज इफ ए इक्वल्स एक्स एज जेड एक्स इज ए डे ऑफ ए वीक देन द वैल्यू ऑफ एन ऑफ ए नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स इन ए सो हियर डे ऑफ ए वीक लाइक द एलिमेंट्स विल बी मंडे ट्यूजडे वेनजडे थर्सडे फ्राइडे सैटरडे एंड संडे सो द टोटल एलिमेंट्स विल बी लाइक सी वन सेवन डेज ऑलरेडी नो बट फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन सो दे आर आसिंग नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स इन सेट ए दे आर आसिंग कार्डिनल नंबर सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज डी नेक्स्ट सेकेंड क्वेश्चन इफ ए इज सबसेट ऑफ बी देन ए इंटरसेक्शन बी सो हियर इफ ए इज सबसेट ऑफ बी बेटर यू टेक एग्जाम्पल ए यू टेक वन टू बी यू टेक वन टू थ्री ऑल द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ ए आर इन बी मैं फिर कैलकुलेट ए इंटरसेक्शन बी फिर कैलकुलेट ए इंटरसेक्शन बी वन टू इंटरसेक्शन वन टू थ्री इंटरसेक्शन इन द एलिमेंट्स विच आर कॉमन इन बोथ द सेट्स सो हियर वन टू विच इज नथिंग बट ए सो हियर द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज ए इफ ए सबसेट ऑफ बी देन ए इंटरसेक्शन बी इज ए नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इफ द नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ ए गिवेन सेट इज थर्टी टू नंबर ऑफ सबसेट सर हियर द क्वेश्चन शुड कम लाइक नंबर ऑफ सबसेट्स here it should be not student it should be like subsets number of subsets so the number of subsets of a given set see number of subsets formula is 2 power n equals 32 so 2 power n equals 2 power 5 so this is a formula for finding number of subsets so clearly we can see number of elements in a set is like 5 number of sets number of elements in a set is 5 so correct option is c next question if a subset of b see again my advice is take example and solve it so a is a you can take 1 2 and b you can take 1 2 3 so here if we'll calculate a minus b see 1 2 Minus one two three, so the common elements will cancel it. So here nothing is left on the left side, so it is null set. So the correct option is D. Next fifth question: If set A is x such that x square minus sixteen equals zero and x belongs to real numbers, so x square minus sixteen equals zero. x square equal 16 x equal root 16 so here you will take plus or minus 4 so in set a there are two elements minus 4 plus 4 now b in set b x is there x square minus 5x plus 6 equal 0 see if i factorize this part x square minus 5x plus 6 equal 0 So six factors minus two x minus three x make a six two into three six plus six equals zero. If we take x common x minus two minus three common x minus two equals zero. So x minus two into x minus three equals zero. X minus two equals zero. X equals three equals zero. So x equals two and x equals three. So if I do A union B here in set B, we have the elements two and three. So if I do A union B, A is minus four four, union B is two comma three. So we'll get minus four four two three. So we got four elements in A union B. We got four elements. Single turn set is nothing but a set with only one element in it. Infinite, so continuously the element should come. Null set, no elements. So correct option is D, finite because we have exactly four elements. Next one, if A and B are disjoint, 
if a and b are disjoint then see if formula is directly you know that a and b are disjoint then n of a union b formula is n of a plus n of b because if minus n of a intersection b will not write in disjoint formula because number of elements in a intersection b will be zero for example a you take 1 2 b you take 3 4 because this joint no element should be common so if i'll calculate a intersection b we'll get null set so number of elements in a intersection b is zero so while writing formula will not write this if the sets are disjoint so here now n of a union b is n of a is 6 n of b is 5 so total 11 so the correct option is a next one seventh question which of the following is true so see first one is null set and element this is not possible null set and null set this is empty set this is a symbol for null set and this is empty set so correct option is b because see this is not a null set because we have an element zero so when first one is wrong both a and b is not possible so this is also not possible this is not possible because there is an element in set that is zero so it is singleton set and this is null set so that is the correct option is b if a subset of b see a subset of b is nothing but here all the elements of a are in b so n of b minus a n of b minus a will be n of b minus n of a because all the elements of a are in b so directly you can do 20 minus 12 which is nothing but 8 because all the 12 elements will get cancelled because all the elements of A are in B. So, N of B minus A is correct option is here C. Next one. If A subset of B, then A intersection B. See, A subset of B, A you take 1, 2, B you take 1, 2, 3. And if you calculate A intersection B, you will get the write the common elements which is 1 2 which is nothing but here a so the correct option is a next one the number of subsets of a set is 16 see number of subsets again the formula is 2 power n 2 power n is 16 so 2 power n equals 2 power 4 so n equals there are like 4 elements in a set so the correct option is D next one universal set like here set S is 3 pi root 2 minus 5 3 plus root 7 and 2 by 7 which of the following is subset of S containing all irrational numbers see first one is not the correct option because here we have 3 which is rational second one pi is irrational root 2 is irrational 3 plus root 7 is irrational so here the correct option is b because the third one if you take 3 is rational fourth one is rational they want a set with complete irrational numbers so the correct option is b now from the venn diagram A union B. See here A union B. A is a set 5, 6, 7, 8. These are the diagram for like disjoint sets. So A union B will be 5, 6, 7, 8. The correct option is B. All the elements of A and B. Next one. Which of the following statement is false? Every set is subset of itself. Every set is subset of itself. This is correct. Every em empty set is subset of every set. Empty set is subset of every set. This is also correct. Because while writing subset, first we will write empty set only. Intersection of two disjoint sets is empty set. See, disjoint sets, the above question from the above question you can take. The These two are like disjoint only. 
So if you do intersection, you will get null set. So this is also correct only. So now, cardinal number of an infinite set. See, cardinal number of an infinite set is 0. See, if cardinal number is 0, it is null set, not infinite set. So this is false. So the correct option is D. Infinite set means, for example, natural numbers, 1, 2, set of natural numbers, so on. So cardinal number cannot be 0. So here the correct option is D, which is wrong statement. Next one. Which of the following is the example of finite set? See the first one. X says that X belongs to natural numbers and X square is 9. So X square is 9. So X equals root 9. X equals plus or minus 3. But they do natural numbers. So set A here first you know. It consists of element 3. Only one element. So, this is an example of finite set. The correct option is A. Next one. Set of rational numbers between 2 and 3. See, between 2 and 3, we have like infinite rational numbers. So, it is not finite. Set of multiples of even prime. Multiples of even prime. Even prime is 2. So, 2, 4, 6, 8, so on. This is also infinite. Set of all odd prime numbers, prime numbers, odd prime numbers, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, so on. Continuously we can write prime numbers, except two remaining all prime numbers are odd numbers only. So this is also infinite. So the correct option is A. Next one, number of subsets of a null set. Number of subsets of a null set. See for null set, we will get only one set. So the number of subsets will be like here B. Correct option is 1. Because for null set, you will get only one subset. Null set is subset of like itself and null set is subset of every set. Empty set is subset of itself. So only one set you will get that is empty set. The correct option is B. Next here, set A, we have the letters like F, L, W, O. Which of the following is not a set builder for set A? So first one see, follow. X is a letter in the word follow. So F, O, L, W. See it is subset. This one flow. F, L, O, W. Here also we have the same element. So it is subset. W, O, L, F. Here also we have same elements. If we take the last one here we have S which is not there in the given set so it is not the set builder form so the correct option is d next one if the union of two sets is one of the set itself then the relation between the two sets is c suppose if you take subset then only it's possible a is 1 2 B is 1, 2, 3. If you do union, you will get 1, 2, 3. So one set should be subset of the other. One set, set is subset of the other. The correct option is A. Disjoint sets not possible because you will get the elements from both the sets. Equal number of elements in both the sets. It doesn't matter because see. 1, 2, 3. See, I am taking the example other than subsets. So, if you do A union B, you will get here 1, 2, 3, 4. So, you will not get one of the set. Did you get it? Here 1, 2, 3 is a 2, 3, 4. So, union is 1, 2, 3, 4. But here 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. So, union is 1, 2, 3. One of the set which I got B. So, definitely it should be like subset. Next one. In the Venn diagram, adjacent. Uh, which of the following is correct? Now see here, these two are very clearly they are like disjoint sets. If they are disjoint sets, then A intersection B is null set. So the correct option is D. Next one. 